Hello there Apps by viewers, my name's Peter and I've got a hands-on video for you. This time it is with Zanac. Uh, Zanac is a, a port, essentially, of the original Zanac, which was an MSX game, it was a NES game. Uh, it was later ported, I believe, to the original PlayStation as Zanac X Zanac. So you might know it from there. Uh, it's kind of not massively well known outside of its uh, uh, native Japan, but it is kind of vaguely known amongst shoot 'em up fans. Well, actually, it's, it's more than that. Like shoot 'em up fans tend to think it's a pretty good game, and the reason is that Zanac. It may not look much now, obviously, uh, but it was kind of really important in terms of the evolution of shmups in so much as this is really actually quite fast paced uh, in terms of old shoot 'em up games like games just did not run this fast this smooth this quickly and with this number of sprites on the screen at any one time there's also a whole bunch of cool power-ups so I'm tapping the A button here and that's giving me my power-up and then B is my normal shot I'm actually using two fingers uh, just in case you're interested uh, because that way you can get out two sets of shots all at once and uh, the, this, this power-up's kind of interesting because you can fire it sideways. That's one of the power-ups. There's a sort of shield kind of a thing. There's a power-up that shoots diagonally. Oh gosh, there's all sorts of, of power-ups in this thing. And it's the power-ups that kind of make it interesting. Plus these, uh, these bosses, basically, which litter the screen with these tiny little white bullets which you need to avoid. And uh, there's also ground targets, and again, like that's not a massive deal. Ah, game over. It is a pretty tough game. That's not a massive deal to to shoot 'em up fans now. Obviously, you know the ability to fire at air and land targets is just kind of a given. If you've played Under Defeat or uh, if you've played Dodo on Patchy recently, you know you'll 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 know that that's just kind of a thing. They're just targets, but you have to understand that this is a game that kind of included that sort of stuff, and that was a rarity at the time. So it's definitely a step forward in terms of shmups and in terms of how the shmup would eventually evolve into the bullet hell or the Dan Marku shooter, that sort of thing. And this is a really good port of it. I think it's excellent, actually. This is available uh, worldwide at the moment, at the time of recording. Um, and uh, it is from D4, and uh, D4, as far as I understand, are just kind of like a license holder now. They they just kind of license out there the sort of old titles that they have access to. I'm just picking up some of these power-ups. Bosh, gotcha. Um, oh, getting taken up. Um, and uh, they've done a really pretty good job, actually. It's got control support, so you can chuck in your Steel Series Stratus, and in fact, the App Store description uh, at the time of recording mentions that it's optimized for the steel stratus because i think pretty much everybody now is on board with that controller uh it also has two other control methods which um i might show you actually let's just quickly pause the screen um and uh, if i go to the top button here i can tap that and that changes it to a single button job i'm going to unpause now and it's just a single there you are look i'm playing it in portrait and i am it's auto firing for me it's doing everything for me except for the movement which is the one thing that i have to take care of it's uh, pretty good as well. Ah, oh, except for I get shot like that. <laughs> um, you might also have noticed that there's Japanese text uh, on the screen. That's not because I'm signed into a Japanese account or anything like that. It just seems to be a slightly bare bones port and D4 tend to do that kind of a thing. But otherwise, it's a really great port and it's ad supported and it's free at time of recording. And the reason I keep saying at time of recording is uh, simply because uh, uh, the kind of the listing for it's vanished in the last five or ten minutes. Uh, pulling back the curtain a little bit, we've just put a story live on AppsBuy.com, and uh, I, I can't get back to the store page. So, uh, hmm, yes, it's uh, sort of vanished, but it came out within the last couple of days. So maybe maybe there's some tweaking going on, or, or, or something like that, or maybe they've just realised that there's no English ads being shown. <laughs> there's just this cool little panda at the bottom. He looks happy, that little panda, doesn't he? But yes, Zanak, it is a slice of video game history. It really, like, this is a cult classic and it is important in terms of video game development. And uh, it's well worth playing if you're interested in the history of video games or more specifically the, the history of shooting games. So I would thoroughly recommend it. And for free, hell yeah. It's also like five megabytes to download, so it will stay on your phone for a good long time. Uh, so do 
go and check this one out. It's definitely a recommendation from me. And uh, let me know if you actually ever played Zanak back in the day. That would be awesome if you did. And what did you think of it at the time? Let me know in the comments. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review. You decide.